so now it's the uh, class trial for Miharu. Is that her name? Yeah. Miharu. AKA, what's her name? Hello. The photographer. That's all you really need to know. I don't know how you can't remember her. She's the most important character with a camera. <laughs> how we didn't even say that. Is what is the Monokuma Rock? Oh, Jabberwock Park. Yeah. Or is that the beach? Oh. Where did you put it? Put what? The drink you wanted. It's in the fridge. What's this one? Yeah, photography girl redhead. It's the lambic. It's the only lambic in there. Monokuma is trying to wrap Kyoko in a full Nelson. Is the audio levels okay? We kind of have the um, art audio up a lot, so I don't know if it's picking up on the mic. So there, if there's like a, what does it do? Like a double sound? Yeah. So if there's like a double sound, let me know and we'll turn it down. Monokuma's angry buff form. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Monokuma's not someone I'd really want to piss off. Why not? <laughs> Bastard! Hmm. Anyway, see ya later! This is bad. I need to look up what Monokuma's voice actor like. looks like. Show some spirit! This, too, must be the will of causality. Hiko. Oh, he's over there. I kind of want to talk to him. Why was he late? Hmm. No, um, we're playing a second game uh, with another group. Um, I think I'm going to be, uh, for our game, I'm going to be a orc or half orc sorcerer. I need to look up which one I want more. Is half orc, I think? Yep. Yeah, I think I want to be a half orc. And I might actually be male. You're so evil. I'm I'm looking into the draw stuff and I'm gonna look into the half orc stuff. You were saying that you wanted to be an elf? Dude, I'm like creating the craziest backstory for my draw. <laughs> I'm having so much fun doing it. It's not silly, it's fun. Is your draw evil? I, I get the impression a lot of them are. Mine is neutral good. Aaron? Hmm? Is that it, neutral good? Yeah. Yeah. Ew, my heart was a rotten freak swelling in the sun before it goes squish. Yep. That is a disgusting visual. It's strange but true to life. Uh, same as mine. Can you pass me my phone? They don't know how they're a drow, but how is that? Aren't they like dark skinned and white hair and like elf looking? Yeah, but if they've ever seen another drow, who knows? My phone's right there, charging. 
So... <sighs> Impossible! That is... No, Despair! My prediction is it's Sonia. What's the style? No, made out of Stardust. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fat Biakia. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good idea. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna overwrite. I obviously uh, know what you are, and definitely am not making up a uh, making up anything. Wait, how, I have 37, right? Yep. So I can get any of these? Uh, I think you already have them. Wait, how do I? Just click on one. Yeah, you already have that one equipped. She could, I can get. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Moon salt. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's all I could equip. Uh, go back. Go to open e handbook. Go to the character things, the report card, and then click on Monami. There you go. Now you can buy more skills. Oh, okay. So you have nine fragments. You already have that one. It says get. Yeah, you get it. What? It's just making a joke about bad translations. Oh. Wait, I don't want this? Trade in? I have this. Do you? Look, it says, oh, you don't, you don't want this, oh, and then oh, I guess X so. is trade in. So I think this. So I maybe can, those are the ones that you. You already so have it. So I don't know. I guess you can trade in cool and composed and downshift. Or. Wait, can I only have so many equipped? Uh, I don't know. Because it says I have to trade in. So maybe it's trade in the things for it. Okay, let's just try one. <laughs> Let's try. I don't really need that. What's a good one? Mm -hmm. This seems good. Okay, trade in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's just trading the. Yeah, trading the fragments for it. Alright, so I have two left. Get this one. This is your aiming speed. Uh, and... You might not be able to afford anything else. Alright, cool. I they think she have... cries when you leave the report card. She does? I think so. What's my difficulty? Kind? Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> Alright, finish preparations? No. You want to equip the skill that you bought? Why is it just automatically equip when I buy it? You might not have enough skill points to use it. There you go. How many? How many what? Truth bullets do I have? A lot. <laughs> Look at them all. This is gonna be an interesting one. I think we got it. Alright, start the class trial. Beep at Tim. 
see if he wants to join. Now or then, he might be at let's the gym. begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Down. I know they're high schoolers, but come on, put two of you together. Shouldn't this is it. only the second After trial, all, right? That game is the motive this time. God, is it? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Because the first one was Terry Terry. Yeah. And Byakuya. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? <laughs> Meta! <laughs> so, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. <laughs> oh no, I don't know! Crap! Can you look it up? Uh, I don't know if I got time. Uh... Just guess at it. Uh... Hyoko. Oh. So there Damn you go. It. You know who it is now. Mikan. Yep. See, we figured it out. I didn't look it up, because I don't remember girl A, girl B, girl C. Girl A is probably Mikan Tsumiki. <laughs> Timid tone. That definitely sounds like girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff room, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. Why am I in a video game? <laughs> That's an infringement of my right to privacy. Oh, Mikan. A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. <laughs> ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. <laughs> I feel like I heard that in the game too. <laughs> Is it girl C, girl D, or girl B? Uh, I don't know if I'm getting there. <laughs> B. I see. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. <laughs> I like that those are her defining characteristics. I mean, short she is and short mouth. and very foul mouth. That's the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Ibuki. Yep. Why couldn't they give me girl a hit C. the first time? <laughs> it's like, who was girl A? Girl C? <laughs> Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Jesus, Sabuki. Just got you there. <laughs> I like how she often has just her mouth open, like a gape in people's stupidity. Let's I mean, yeah. Fuyuhiko. I see. I forgot Fuyuhiko. her name for a second. <laughs> the victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Monokuma. <laughs> Ibuki? You know. I see. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. 
Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on! Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? I wish my eyebrows had lightning. It's not like to electrify wrong. them. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Just put some little Since 9 volt batteries on. <laughs> you probably know what this actually means, right? <laughs> and Nagato's an alright guy. Do you remember? No. You should. I know it's not just a bug. Mm-hmm. Hit a little sticker? I can prove it with this. You got it. Okay. In the game, Guy F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? Is this one of the longer class trials? I feel like I remember it being really long. I don't think so. I think it's on the shorter side. I know the longest one is the, uh... Yeah, I know which one you're thinking the, about. The, the, yeah, yeah. the room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one goes on, I think, for like three hours. <laughs> like, I'm not joking. I think it literally went on for three hours. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you got there. Winning personality? <laughs> you can't insult Nagito more than Nagito can insult himself. Don't even try. I was being True. sarcastic, dumbass. <laughs> hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's yes. just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. Now it's not it. just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking <laughs> killed her myself a long time ago. Why does his voice actor sound familiar? What else? Do you know what else off the top of your head? What else he's done? Danganronpa 3. No, but I mean like any other video game besides Danganronpa? Oh, probably. That sounds about oh, right. Oh, hey! <laughs> when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me, as usual, and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! Yeah, Monokuma. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. You wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. 
Damn. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. <laughs> no, he does not. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko. This is what Fuyuhiko's sister. voice actor looks like. I don't agree. That's <laughs> just a story in a fucking game. His voice sounds so young, like he's like fifty. Yep. I guess so. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be the same Miss Sato who likes white rice? What? So like a Japanese thing that didn't translate? Probably. Probably. I don't know what Sato you're talking about. I don't think she's relevant to this case. Right? <laughs> 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 Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. I feel like... <laughs> yeah, Chiaki's... Chiaki's too pure for this world. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. I don't think so. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? God, Monami, you cannot sound more fake sincere if you tried. <laughs> These guys are definitely friends. Right? <laughs> so the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Do you remember? I don't remember. She... No! <laughs> this right, Hajime is gonna get ganked. I know. God damn it. Okay, uh... Ha, 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 ha. Yay! Thank you. was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. I feel like that's obvious now that it's been stated. I should have figured that out. Yep. E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, girl Lee was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But. But it is it is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim. In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. God, Chalky, you are amazing. She is well prepared. Yeah. Look. I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. That broken vase was far away from yeah. the water tank. It didn't look like that in the game. Well, they said that it was in another room, remember? Oh. Ha ha ha, is that true? It's extremely true. <laughs> That's why my sense of direction is as good as it is. Really? Yeah. Dungeon crawler RPGs have a first-person point of view, so mapping as you play is the basic. We get it. <laughs> Let's talk about that later, so we can focus on the case. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately. They climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. 
And when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. See, how can Nagito be bad? He's not. Yeah. But it wasn't a pervert, right? <laughs> Girl E? Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. <laughs> Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. We assume nothing. I know, right? <laughs> Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. I don't know, I feel like games do that kind of stuff all the time. Where it's like, but there was a spare key. You can like, lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, girl E broke the window and escaped. Oh, V. Just hurl yourself out of the second floor of the lane. The music room as fast oh my as god. Before the others arrive. Yeah, with like broken glass and blood mm -hmm. everywhere. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. <laughs> it's not cute to see an old guy sulk. <laughs> hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, I know this, I know this camera pan. Do you? Oh no, the zoom. Oh! You get that sweet non-stop debate. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> yep. After she killed the first victim in the music room. Wait, what how do I? Lead? <laughs> I literally forgot like how to, okay. She just broke the window in the music room. Is it supposed to be floating outside. like that? Yeah. Okay. It's so that so way you don't have perfect aim. Outside the school. Oh, okay. I thought to it was like broken. To nah. Room. To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. They were at there. The entrance hall, the girls. Right? Heard the sound of the window shattering. There you go. No, that's wrong. See, you got this. You don't need this walkthrough. I remember the face. The sound the girls heard <laughs> wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? The fourth wall. Oh. <laughs> A vase. Yeah, I remember the vase A being vase. important. Vase? How low can you go? After the murder. A broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. How do you know, oh, Nagato? The right there. The music room, <laughs> broke the window and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Uh, I see. 
Now the mystery has been solved. Yep, we can Wait determine the killer. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. It's probably oh, a bag of Valencia cool. oranges. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you've got to stick with it to the end. Never. What the heck? You're so annoying. <laughs> Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. <laughs> Which means I'll feel disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You're the disgusting one. Valencia oranges will teach him who's boss and not leave a bruise. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon is pretty. That's absolute. gross. <laughs> the answer was revealed in the game, though. Never shit. <laughs> Wait. The answer was revealed in the now game. Then, oh no! What was it? To figure it out. You do your homework. Ah, uh, no, no, the Zoom. No, I'm not ready. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ready. No. All right. Look at all those bullets. Broken fish tank. That's the only thing that you can kill someone with in Is that. It? Yeah. A weapon inside the music room, huh? It's gotta be the broken fish tank. What about broken glass? Uh, Isn't the no. cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. What? That's too what? Big to be no! How did that not work? You have to blow up the it's purple. The How? With X. Oh! Why are you going even bigger? <laughs> Smashed him with the piano. Conducts universal chaos. It's on that <laughs> big a scale too. So I, the blues agree, right? How about beating her with yeah. gravel instead. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? No. She beat her to death it. with her fist. <laughs> oh, this is hard without the with the aim like floaty. Yeah. Okay, so it's the broken fish tank, but I have to blow up the thing first. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Yes. Is it? Then she Maybe. attacked her with the fish tank. Why did That's I do it again? <laughs> How do I fast forward? Uh, I don't remember. There should be a button for it, though. I know there is. Just hit all the buttons at the same Why time. Going even bigger. The investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had. Was there a weapon with? She beat her to death with her fist. Okay, so. Weapon inside the music. Room, X huh? and then trigger. <laughs> what about broken glass? And make sure that you shoot it enough times that it's gone Isn't away. I know. Of death a blow to the head. I know. I'm Finish sorry. <laughs> with the fish tank. Incorrect. I. Hate this game. <laughs> Damn it. Can you look at? I already know what it is. What is it? Uh, it's a weapon inside it's the, the stolen room, huh? school swimsuit. Why did what I do about that? Broken glass? It's the wait. It's the swimsuit. Yep. No. 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 Look at your truth bullets. Isn't the cause of death a blow? Like actually head? look at them in the thing. What Can do you mean? You talk to her with the fish tank. Go into your. I think it's triangle. Whatever this one is that you just pressed. Square. Okay, so go to the stolen school swimsuit and let's look at it. Hmm. But how is it a swimsuit? That doesn't make any sense. I don't remember it being a swimsuit. I remember the tank. I don't know. Okay, fine. That's too big to be a weapon. And you're gonna use it on the gravel. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. <laughs> it's on that big a scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Oh, I was lucky there. I got it right in between the. Uh... Oh my god. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. Okay. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. Just think about <laughs> just it. Just as I thought. I'm chosen by the gods. See, Boogie knows what's up. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. Did... 
Did I don't understand. Yeah, like I feel like if I didn't have a walkthrough, I never would have got this. Why not? Because I don't. Gravel was put inside some sort of bag. Was the gravel put inside the swimsuit? Yeah. That's dumb. How is that dumb? It's dumb. <laughs> I mean, technically, the most gravel is appeared in older. The and so is the back. Like, how could you not fight back from that? Because you're getting clubbed in the head with a bag of gravel? Yeah, but it's not like you don't have your arms. You can't scratch it. There'd be so much blood, and the girl would have had attack marks, too. But what it's not if like she you surprised get... you? You'd have to be... I, I feel like you'd have to be so lucky. Like, you'd have to hit her, hope that she loses consciousness, and then just keep beating her. Mm -hmm. And then there'd be, like, blood and gravel everywhere, and there'd be gravel in her skull. Not if it's in the bag. Oh, yeah, swimsuits don't tear, you're right. I don't think of is the school swimsuit. It's an industrial strength swimsuit. <laughs> if you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff mm -hmm. it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? <laughs> Even the ace attorney would be astonished <laughs> by such a fantastic idea! I mean, people have been killed with a sock full of pennies. But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only <laughs> producers know this feeling of ecstasy. And DMs. But the <laughs> real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? I wish they would just use their names. I know. Huh? <laughs> Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. Wait, so in a rush of anger, she got gravel, put it in a swimsuit, and then beat her to death? That was just like, what's that called in real life? Um, manslaughter? No. Heat of, degree murder. No, heat of the moment. Yeah. That was a heat of the moment thing. She just happened to have a swimsuit. Happen to just shove the gravel in it, tie it up, and be like, okay, turn around, just don't peek. I I'm not murdering you here, just give me a second. Maybe she already had the gravel in her swimsuit for something unrelated. <laughs> but she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. If she choked her out, then there'd also be like obvious signs of strangulation. They didn't mention that. They just said that she had a blow to the head. There'd be like bruising and broken blood vessels in her eye. Maybe Nagato has it wrong. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. Yeah, maybe this is all wrong though. Cause I remember the, I remember the tank being more important. Maybe it is. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day, or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Guy F. Monokuma. <laughs> I see. Just answer Monokuma for all options. <laughs> Should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, <laughs> hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. I, I want, like, all of my books on tape to be narrated by Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> Guy F is... I want everything to be narrated by him. <laughs> what? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. 
Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, <laughs> do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but. <laughs> That's obvious, because their school memories were like totally stolen. Even if I don't remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. Oh my god, why? <laughs> no one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. I mean, it makes Girl sense. Girl and Mahiru were killed by that guy. Uh. <laughs> you sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I would I would listen to Fifty Shades of Grey if Gundam Tanaka narrated it. This murder has anything to do with that game? Fifty Shades of Gundam. Oh my god. <laughs> and then if it was also a Fifty Shades of Grey and like Mobile Suit Gundam crossover narrated by Gundam Tanaka. I think you're getting greedy there. <laughs> I'm getting greedy. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. What am I? Oh, the victim. Oh, wait, I wasn't really. Wait, what am I doing? Display problem. This is an important share point with Girl E and Mahiru's murder. How do I go back? Oh, this is the picture my sister was trying to show you. Um, I'm kind of... I'm hitting buttons. I think the... That was weird. The game froze. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. Wait. It's the metal bat. Is it the bat? Was there a bat there? There was a bat there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's okay. How do I present it? Okay, there. Prove it with What's this? the picture? I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. Oh, that's cool. What is it? Gold plus? I think so. Aaron's sister was trying to uh, send me a picture and it wasn't sending to my phone. Then she tried like a million times, so I had her send it to Aaron. Hmm. Worked in one go. Yeah, it's two cool. hours later. <laughs> Should have just done that in the first place. Yeah. I need to take my phone to T-Mobile. Like, I'm not getting pictures. I think something's wrong. Sounds like you have the wrong the phone carrier. Shut up. <laughs> Both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Can't we? Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? We all know it's you, Hiyoko. <laughs> you better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And it's true for you, Hiko may look suspicious. But don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you? I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. A trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for you, Hiko. <laughs> yeah, Fuyuhiko is like the most suspicious character right now. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Although that would be smart if there was a person who like saw this and like went out of their way to murder Mahiru in the exact same way to set up Fuyuhiko. That would be smart. Yeah. <laughs> oh snap. Turn around, Honor. What? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? Toilet clogging. Yeah, she's like three feet tall. <laughs> okay, footprints on the beach, metal bat, trash can, iron barred window, shower room. Okay, what is one of my. What am I saying, you four eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? At the beach. She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. 
But I didn't go to the beach house. No, you did. You did. You absolutely did. No, that's wrong. <laughs> we don't know that that was her. It could have been some other tiny-footed person. You have freakishly tiny feet, Hyoko. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't. But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? Nah, they're yours, Hajime. I don't have such ugly footprints. They're probably Nikons based on how ugly they are. <laughs> don't decide that based on ugliness. <laughs> huh. They're not Hyoko's footprints? That's strange. <laughs> the footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Accurate. How old is Hyoko supposed to be? <laughs> supposed to be a high schooler. <laughs> yes. The footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means... When the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. <laughs> yeah, uh, his goal is for Hope to win, not necessarily for the group, or the main character, or yeah. himself, or... I'm pretty sure that means the group. <laughs> Facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning against? Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened between those two events. Isn't that right, Ryoko? Ah! I remember now! I remember when I went to the beach house. You shouldn't try lying when, uh, oh, God, now I can only think of him as Great Value Makoto. Uh, <laughs> Nagito. There you go. When Nagito has proof. Hmm. Does so he, though? finally <laughs> decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. That means she's I've innocent. I've never heard of that <laughs> daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. I can't Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? <laughs> people who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? Yes. <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Well, I don't know, we Gundam literally you saw it. you running away, like at around three. Gundam will send his four dark devas of destruction. Oh to shit! But wait, letter on Mahiru. I did go to the beach house, but only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other ah! time. <laughs> then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house. At the beach house. <laughs> Obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? Well, you only have two things to shoot at. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk! I like how no, you can right. tell who's saying things like that was um like oh that's a true that's truly healthy. <laughs> Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I like how you can see the things that I'm shooting down. That it's like the murmuring from yeah. the classmates. Bum bum bum. Why would you put your name on that? Why not? Like, she knows who it is. Like, Mahiru would know who that is. What if she doesn't? That letter! It's the one Mahiru had, right? I mean, that seems like something Mikan would so say. So Kyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious, I don't know. Oh snap, I remember now. I totally saw you. <laughs> huh? 
Me and he was scoping out the, the beach for Lee. Yeah. To go to the beach. He was. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3:30 p.m. 3:30 p.m. See. So if she met Mahiri at 2:30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward. <laughs> I think 3:30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed Hio. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko, so you should have seen Hioko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. Way to profile. <laughs> it's the truth. Deal with it. What's on his tie? Just leave him alone. Like a It'd be a waste star. of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuchi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know. I didn't even write that letter. I, I'm telling the truth. I really, really don't know. Don't you? <laughs> I like how her hair gets all sad. <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? Maybe she's doing both. She's probably faking it. <laughs> we can assume she summoned Mahiri with the intention of killing her all along. She's like really laying suspicion on um, her, but like completely took it off uh, Fuyohiko and he was like way more suspicious. Yeah, that's just because he's a Yakuza. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahi. There's evidence for that, too. Do you remember where? Yeah. Here! The place where we found the gummy. Mm -hmm. The place where Yoko was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Yoko, your favorite candy is gummies, correct? What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that Jesus, before. Jesus, Yoko, get better at lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hiyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. <laughs> when she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. No, Gundam. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprint. That doesn't... A lot of holes in your story, Pekko. That doesn't make sense either, because the body was dragged to the door. Yep. Because she was killed instantly. Mm hmm From a blow to the back of her head. Yeah. Maybe she hit her head on the door. We have presented the proof. My four dark devas of destruction <laughs> didn't even need to come out. They should have anyway. I know. It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? Mine. Green. <laughs> Person, you know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? <coughs> Got it. <coughs> Forgot about that mask. There's no way I'd wear a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask <laughs> says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Yes. Why you? If you continue to say such foolish <laughs> things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. Oh my god. A culture shock, you know? Makes sense. Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? 
You're being unreasonably stubborn. What's people doing? Batting at the window. Oh, is there a cat outside? Probably. Throw your head! <laughs> Gundam doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, being directed by Pecco. Okay, what are my bullets? Prince on the beach, trash can. Okay. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. <laughs> uh, right? Is the sinner who killed Nahiru? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the so do you want to know the bullet or what to shoot it at? Because I'll give you one of them. Body. So you were what is to it? From the beach side Which one do you want? Uh, and that's how you left your footprints. The bullet. The bullet is the gummy bag. God damn it! I thought it was the trash can. <laughs> I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's Why conclusion. I... Just figure out which one the, the gummy Yoko bag goes with. Who killed Mahiru. Do we remember the important thing about the gummy bag? The There's no doubt. No, you I don't remember. Beach house, right? This was like a week ago, I don't remember. We can always look at it. And weren't you also See what it says. Wait, no, that's the candy. What's mm -hmm. the bag? Where's the okay. I... Look at the flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Mm -hmm. and there's a yellow gummy, but couldn't melon be yellow if it was like honeydew? That would be green. Okay. Hiding in the closet. So that's when you drop the gummy. So remember, they said no, that's, that's not wrong. the brand of the chew buys. About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're they prefer to be called you know. little people. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true, Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene was yellow. So it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. In the huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! Bum bum bum. That's right. None of the gummy bags <laughs> in her cottage had any gummy yellow Kuma. I feel like she's such a habitual liar, it's so hard to trust anything she says though. Yeah. Yoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. But we need to say out of time. Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! And we can confirm it with the bags that she Damn has in her room. Who would set a trap like this? Well, who's the one who led us to this conclusion? Mm, Gundam. Gundam Tanaka. Hold on, you little bitch. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Gross. Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Double gross. Mm Okay. We're not done with Hyoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. I see he's got them. It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. What is it? And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the room. <laughs> Almost. Thanks to her. We have the evidence we need. I get What's it. wrong? I left those footprints during my morning walk. No, I don't care about your morning walk. We're done with that. 
No, but I gotta do the We're not that done one. with Yoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. So you figured it You're out. Talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? Well, we caught autopsy report with the news form. Important mm -hmm. piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. Mahiru. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and damn it! Blocked the door to the road. <laughs> Thanks to Getting her. so mad. We have the evidence Just we need. need to take a couple shots at it. That's wrong. I left those footprints during my morning walk. Uh, the bigger ones usually need multiple shots. We're not done with Hyoko yet. And you can also slow down time with, I think, There's R1. Solid. R1? I think it's R1. Huge it's one of the shoulder of buttons. Left. That slow it down? Yeah. yeah. Talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? You don't want to use it all the time. You just want to use it when the one you want comes it's true. up. true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can <laughs> thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the room. <laughs> That's thanks what to I was. Her. So when that comes up, use the slowdown. We have the evidence we need. That's wrong. I left those footprints during my morning walk. This is like my least favorite part. <laughs> like I'm so with bad at yet. aiming with this thing. <laughs> There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about. The I think that's why they have the slowdown for people that have trouble. Hitting the target. I keep forgetting what the slowdown one it's is, though. It's one of the shoulder ones. It's that. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and. There you go. No, that's wrong. Oh God. Get him, Hajim. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death. According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! <gasps> I'm sorry! Ryohiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Is this someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer, after all. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Hiyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled a body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... What if she only used her left side? <laughs> You look down on me. <laughs> we haven't decided that yet. I know. You I know, right? Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! With everything we know about the other dang and rompas, you can't even say this is suspicious because like I know. there's always like people that are just dumb. <laughs> <sighs> How's this go again? What if Mahiru didn't block the door. Yeah, you have to cut then the Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru. Oh wait, can you? And blocked hmm. the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Wait, how does this work? You have to cut the words as they come up, but you can't like just cut wildly. You need to make sure that you cut all the well, words. Well, what's with the other words? What other words? If Mahiru the... didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Kyoko moved the yeah, body, yeah, you go to the next part of the argument. Then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside after she moved the body. 
she just washed it up. The fact that he opened was at the beach. Again, I don't know. Get all that, you you have to use the. That's what I was asking you. Well, I didn't know what words you were talking about. Damn it! So you have to use the. It's just like using a truth bullet, but you use it on the orange statement. Oh. If Mahiru didn't block the door, He's then he did it. She the killed shower room. Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. How am I supposed to use it? It's not the same trigger button. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko the did it. No. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Well, you're. My... You're missing some of them, so it's not going forward. What am I missing? You're not countering all of his words. You're swinging too often. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, you need to stop swinging so wildly. Because you only have so many cuts you can use. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. See? I have no if idea how you did that different than I did. Because you're just like spamming it. You just need blood. to only hit it enough times to cut each so word. What, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. Okay, get After ready. She moved the body. She just washed there. it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. Because you only have so many times you can like swing your word no. sword. Washing so if it you use it too many, you can't impossible. counter the words. Because the shower in the beach house was out of order. I feel like that's so different than everything else in this game where you have to like mash buttons and do as fast as you can. I'm yeah, the sorry. third game they changed that. I haven't that. had any time to actually repair it. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Jesus. But you can't do that either. I did something that perverted. She can't get dressed by herself. Mm -hmm. Her clothes are fused to her body. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. <laughs> Which means Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. <laughs> I, I didn't smell. But it only smelled a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Yeah. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari <laughs> Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! Makes if sense. she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? She licked it off. Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Dun dun dun. Because <laughs> if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed Gross. out. Well, I want cheesecake though. Yeah. Me of all people, you got some nerve. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? Where'd you get cheesecake from? All right. Because the body shot of her was so cheesecake. Stuck in a bowing position oh. for the rest of your life. I thought he was saying he had cheesecake. No. That actually sounds pretty I was getting cool. very jealous of this cheesecake. <laughs> the hell it does! Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? <laughs> yeah, seems like it. <laughs> I guess it's alright. I already told you, there's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono. And she was very, very kind. 
There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? I don't know, because you're a habitual liar. You guys are stupid. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? I think Nikamaro should punch Shut her. Shut the hell up, pig bark. I hope you get a hangnail and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry for being pink bar. <laughs> hey, Hioko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, <laughs> can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? No evidence of that. Like I said, it was a trap. Yeah, I got that already. So, can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. <laughs> Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Yes! Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... So that was a lie? Cuz I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Plus it's your bay. Yeah. Like everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. How time, can you be embarrassed we were to be around to meet Gundam? Around 2 p.m., but around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. similar but that's not like contradicting right was that contradicting I, can I mean they both this. sent the same letter to each other doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter my but it's not like the contents of the letter contradicted the other letter is that not what they're asking they had different meeting times oh did they okay. yeah 2.30, okay, so I'm in two. letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m., but in Hyoko's letter... Whoa! The meeting times are off! Mm -hmm. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, <laughs> what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? They weren't forged. <laughs> I see. It was just a terrible coincidence. The must have forged both letters. They're coming the up on the break. Them so they can manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters... Confirmed! <laughs> Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches, too. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. 
This part, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru <laughs> to do their bidding. Exactly. Like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely Correct. tricked me. And then, Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan. That's what's with me terrible. <laughs> Not that someone died, just that the killer didn't reach out to Nagito. I mean, it makes sense. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him. <laughs> <laughs> so, based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Kyoko? What's most important is what happened afterwards. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep! You know, I have to wonder, what if all of them hold, held a knife and then just all of them pushed it into someone? I don't know. Did you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> a likely medicine? story. That medicine, could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. Well, what else are you going to get on? You were aware of that from the start. You should have done something about it. Really? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is she supposed to do about it? When I woke up, all the toilet, I was inside I guess? a small closet. What if someone needs, like... Well, then they die. <laughs> That's their problem. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong, and I was framed by Mahiru's killer! <laughs> Yoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. Shut up, for you, Hiko. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. I mean, you kind of need to be Isn't suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? Yeah, you the tell him, Kokichi. The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go hey. to thoroughly hey. doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. Shut up, no. <laughs> the last trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. His eyes are squiggly. Yep. That's how you know you're doing well. <laughs> That's how you know you're crazy when your eyes start becoming spirals of despair. Or I guess uh, extreme hope. Same girl in Logan, it was extreme hope. <laughs> I'm Spiral the power was the best thing there was. can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, <laughs> but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! 
Gotti Pookie. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. Obviously, it's Sonya. There should be a new group <laughs> in to do. what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. What if you can't? Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what do you think of that, Manikuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want. What if this is the outcome he wants? Hey! hey. Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping! Uh, yeah, it's Monokuma. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Well, I don't know. The bitter truth means that we all survive. Yeah. And only the killer dies, so... Mm -hmm. Yes? <laughs> Is this intermission? Yeah. I'd say that we're, like, 70% of the way through. Well, now. Yeah, because I feel like it's not halfway. This is, like, more than halfway. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's he's a cool guy. Oh, yeah, that you're, sucks. You're good, man. Slow internet sucks. No, slow internet's the best. Makes you appreciate the finer things in life. <laughs> You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. I don't think that's true. Is that Tim? Is that correct? <laughs> Tim, give me the breakdown on this Nanu auf Deutsch. Um. <laughs> Nanu. I mean, Rob Williams. Um... Not set Nanu hey, in a TV Nanu. show. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. No? To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. Impossible! I bet it's Mark. Impossible! <laughs> That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Oh, I can't do anything. How annoying. But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Hey, we got that part covered. <laughs> well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was Dance luring contest. Hyoko into right? a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. <laughs> do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Anything can be a clue. Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. <laughs> Just as Is I thought. a smile? <laughs> Are you talking about Monami? Does she fill you with uh, hope and uh, wonderment? Mm -hmm. Just as you thought? Every day, <laughs> but their aim's getting better. <laughs> Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house. The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left. No, oh, there because they wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible. There's nowhere to hide. I definitely miss having my I reports even taken care of. The shower room as I was running away, oh. but there was nobody there. Oh. Yep. Then does that mean the killer came mm -hmm. back? Who's taking care of your reports now? Me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you had. An, don't you have another intern? No. I thought you said there was another intern. We have two temps. Temps. Hmm. You can't do have them do it. I no. wonder. No. At any rate. The solution to that For problem a number is connected of to what really happened. Mm. That's what I think.
You ready for this sweet, sweet mini game? Oh no! Yeah. Logic time! Time to get your surf on. This is the first time it does. It did this, right? I think so. Yeah. Isn't there a jump button? Uh, I think so. Why aren't you telling me the controls before? I don't remember them. No, I'm talking to the game, sorry. Oh. You'll be fine. This is not too hard of a mini game. But I will say that this is exactly like what being in an argument is like. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's the killer rat? Wait, what's go? Oh, this. I think you got this. I don't know if you're gonna need me to give you the answers. It's kind of hard, cause like, the go button is on the same side as the jump button. So like, see how I'm having to... Why are you using the right stick to move it? Cause, oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. <laughs> I thought, wait, why didn't that work? It was a checkpoint. That's the go one. See, there you're going. No, but see like, okay, I, this is go. Are you this sure it's not just hold up on the other one? When's it the kill? After he ever left. No, because look, I'm like holding X up. or something? I, I tried all the other buttons. Uh, you were doing it right there. Hold the X. Yeah, see? See, you got this. Okay, so it is X. Alright. Uh, the beach house. Mm-hmm. See, so you got this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chaos Emerald. <laughs> it's all coming together! <laughs> wow. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? Nah. I spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. <laughs> Didn't I just say it's there was the nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her sure. personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. The shower. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a Kani bop you on the head and shut you up for good. That would kill him. I know, really? <laughs> the only other spot that has a door. The outside. Oh, whoops. Ah, oh, lol. Never mind. So where didn't she check? I guess outside? Nope. The closet? Killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet. That's actually head. really smart. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, who would investigate the place where they just want to leave? But could yep. two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's That's the winds of truth. To a hiding place. Do you know where? Where's my thingy? Here? Here! Who locked? What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? <laughs> Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy. 
I think. I don't know. Teenagers are naturally pretty slovenly. Right. Helen was close to me during that time? Yeah. They were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't oh, you mean think that's it's what always means. darkest under the lighthouse? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. She's an ugly everything. <laughs> the killer hid silent, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Mm -hmm. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Peeping. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right. If you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! That makes sense. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's up. saying it's a then regular it? punch instead of Quit a friggin' teeth. punch. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Isn't Monokuma. It? Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. True. Not sure. I'll listen to your story about He's men sleeping from the like a little future prince. some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three oh, or more so people discover Three or more. Body. Okay, so this one, it's three or more. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. Hmm, Monokuma doesn't seem confident. You don't mm -hmm. sound very articulate. <laughs> Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Well, it's a thousand percent is an excuse. Everything's supposed to follow the rules. Yeah. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. If that's the case, then why does it have to be three or more people? Yeah. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used the <laughs> I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond <laughs> to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? Gross. <laughs> so what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, <laughs> let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying <laughs> evidence. Yep, the simple life of obstruction However, of justice. Before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Ew, <laughs> gross. Oh wow, shower room's the only bullet? Yep. All right. What did the killer do with the blood on your body? What? Oh, no, I meant this, sorry. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? <laughs> Ugh. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? No. Maybe they wore one when they moved the no. body. If they use something other than the shower, 
What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? Other than the shower. They cut it up and floosh. <laughs> floosh. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, <laughs> I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> he certainly Perhaps acts like him. Other than the killer moved the body. No. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I think it's. You have to use. So you have to absorb one of them. What did the so you have do to absorb the other than the shower. Maybe they simply washed it off. I forgot about absorbing, and that's just holding triangle. Shower, yeah. Right. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't. So absorb other than the shower. the shower. Yeah. Uh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Yep, just wipe it down Maybe with a wetsuit. Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. <laughs> if they use something other than the shower, there you what go. did they do with the bloody wetsuit? Was just having one supposed they to be a up and like? Flushed. Yeah, I think it's a clue that you need to someone who flushes absorb. Their okay. Shit every morning, I can declare. I think the first time that you play through this, they the say time. like, "Hey, we're going to teach you about absorbing." But since we're on like a it's new game plus, around. it's not going to do that. Okay. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. What do I use it on? Maybe they were able to wash it uh, off. Something earlier. So I have to go through it again? Yeah. Something other than the what shower. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? <laughs> <laughs> so washing it off would have been impossible. Oh. There it is, huh? Oh, that was it? Yeah. Shower. God damn it. What about maybe they wore one if they use something? What did they do? Give me that they cut it voice. up. Someone who flushed it would definitely clog. Maybe it's the other way. Perhaps someone other way. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Okay, so it's. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Pointing! <laughs> maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. <laughs> They didn't have Almost. to use the shower. Oh, what about maybe they wore one if they used something oh, other than the shower? What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? That was close. <laughs> that was very close. As someone who flushes their shit every morning. Yeah, I don't want to go through this like five more times. We'll maybe see. they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with maybe they simply they couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's easy wrong. peasy. <laughs> if they just needed to wash off the blood, they didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. You're almost at the end of something the trial. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Like the ocean, duh. <laughs> A squall. <laughs> Just like, yeah, there was a tropical storm no one noticed. The killer used those to wash off the blood? I remember this part. I, mm -hmm. it. I remember thinking this was really fucking stupid. I don't know, I think it's a pretty good idea. I think it's so dumb. Well, how is it dumb? Why? People will see. Our, our audience will tell us why this is dumb. Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand. Oh no, I have to do this thing. That there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Because it's going to be the cutting thing, right? Yep. It's true there were drinks in the beach house with however. Try thinking one bottle drink wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Oh. There were only flavored drinks. If you use those to wash blood off, the blood will come off in your body. It will leave an aromatic, especially if you use it. That alone would raise suspicion. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. The? Allow me to cut through those words. I want that to be like my text notification. Allow me to cut through those words. Mm -hmm. You can probably find it. I know. Because right now it's prompt out. Mm -hmm. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. No, there was a ton. After the incident, right? 
But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. How is that a logical fallacy? It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence Why inside not? the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Yeah. Is there blood on the bottles? No, I think it's just the label. Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. <laughs> yes! Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Uh, you should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Do you know, okay, this is why I feel this is stupid. Do you know how many plastic water bottles you'd have to use? And then how would you not get blood all over them? You have blood all over your hands. You just dragged a bloody body. Yeah, but then you use some of the water bottles to clean the other ones. But you don't have an unlimited resource of water bottles. Like, you would need so many gallons of water to clean yourself and yeah, the scene. Like that was like. Not the scene, but the water bottles. Because she can clean the scene, but. Seems like that was quite a few. With lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy uh, to understand explanation. <laughs> I feel like the game's like. Uh, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Trolling me. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. It seems you've realized who the killer is. It's Nagato. <laughs> it's always Nagato. See? Just as I thought. Nagito. Hold on. You you know who the killer is? Nagat O. Is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? Do you not like the Lambic? I'm just working my way through it. Okay. I've got a shower in the way. Uh. No. Ah, uh, Pecco. Pecco. Is it you? Pecco, Pecco, Yama. Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer. Then I should ask you this: Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. <laughs> Meow. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? <laughs> huh? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I... Cross paths with you her just on my said way that you didn't run into anyone. So, <laughs> so there's no doubt she would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Yeah. Hold on, that's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <sighs> Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. Is it? <laughs> we haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Grappling hook. Now that you <laughs> mention it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. I mean, I'd be fired up because you want to make sure you get it Answer right. Me. <laughs> if you have an explanation, then show me what you got. Yeah, but usually it's just like kind of snide. Well, this is the angriest we've seen them all game. It's only the second trial. We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolved. Well, 
If Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, only other thing we I have one of the other amazing mini games coming up. No, what? Mm -hmm. Well, oh, is it the Hangman Hangman's Gambit? It sure is. <sighs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. What if she Is used Mahiru? Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! I mean, they could have just tossed it in the ocean, but whatever. <laughs> that would violate the school oh. oh, yeah, because it would be littering. Never mind. <laughs> littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, Wouldn't they the just mask have to use an object. Ring? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. Bum -bum. Snap. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? Yikes. And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! Come on, here, girl. No! Please don't be violent! Do you know the answer? I do, but I don't know how they're gonna word it. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's the best one. Um. Whoa. Okay. The first letter is B. Okay. okay. A? Mm hmm. Oh, yay. Mm hmm. Um. And then, uh. Uh, what? M. Fuck. B. Bamboo? Mm-hmm. Uh. Does that hurt me? Yeah. In like a tiny, tiny amount. Oh, mother effer. Nope. No! No! <laughs> Aww. There you go. <laughs> Bamboo sword? I need an S. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sword. There you go. Where's an R? Get them points. There they are. Now you just gotta get. Gotta the get D. that D. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <F. laughs> I can't even do anything about these because, like, if I do that, it gets rid of my stock. Yeah. Juggle it around, okay. all crazy. There you go. Bamboo Swad. I mean, I would have just thought it would be sword case, like. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, but there's not enough letters for it to be too. sword case. <laughs> Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. 
She goes everywhere with it. Yeah, she does. Uh, are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Heko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! <laughs> Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Wow! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist <laughs> in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? Hold on a sec, you bastard! <laughs> You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? <laughs> it would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. For you, Hiko, why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! I feel so bad for this voice actor. Can you imagine how many takes he had to do with this gravelly, pissed off voice? Yeah, probably one. <laughs> He's a professional. <laughs> we want it more gravelly. You ready for panic talk? Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously got this impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Look at that combo. Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Negative? Up. You still gotta Don't go with the beat. With me. Uh oh. Got proof, it just bastard. hides it. That's How obviously I... impossible! Bastard! <laughs> Got proof, you bastard! Just like a real part room. Organs. You're Did you just say I saw your fucking organs? Yep. <laughs> You're pissing me off! That's a pretty effective threat. Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! <laughs> if she used the bamboo sword bamboo. as a step stool, it would have been left behind! There you go. This is the end! If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Oh. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Okay. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, yeah. it would have been an even greater plan. No, you just back off. Catastrophe. Um, um, is it true? Did you really kill Makino? Uh, hold on! You're just making assumptions. You don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. Gonna have to lay the whole case out now. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your <laughs> decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? 
This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? The perfect alibi. Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question... I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Oh my god. Justice? In order to... Protect the justice of this world. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Makes sense. You... What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon. The protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that! It's, it's fine, just stop it! Justice must always be there to guide us. To shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... Could she be... As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. <laughs> justice... Ah, <laughs> uh, the perfect the costume. Center of justice oh my god. That is pierced by justice. <laughs> the lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Checks out. Now then, let's execute justice! <laughs> what? Yeah. What the fuck? You nailed it. Pego, what are you doing? I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice. I love the emojis. I have come to deliver justice. <laughs> What's going on? What's this? Chill. <laughs> Pego finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of Justice. Clad in her various <laughs> hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. Also, like she that. is supposed yeah. to be, but huh? An ally of Justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various items. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. I don't think that's the Justice reason. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> I, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy. This, this is turning out to be a surprising <laughs> turn of events. <laughs> hey, now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take a look! It's a killer! This again? Huh? <laughs> sleep talking? But so sleep driving. The answer to my previous question. Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, 
I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed my hero was... To protect justice, of course. <laughs> oh my god. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. I'm not sure if I like the pose or the glowing eyes more. <laughs> Executed justice. <sighs> Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> <laughs> She's so gross! For once I agree with Hiyoko. <laughs> nah, I think she's pretty cool. Heko, is this your true identity? My no. true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. I think that's accurate. <laughs> I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. <sighs> one, one. So let's find the things that we know need to be in here. I don't think we have that yet. Don't have that. Nope. Oh wait, crap. Uh huh. It doesn't give me all the ones I need? No. Uh doesn't it do that in the third one? Uh it does something similar. Ugh. What did the killer leave next to the body? That we have. What? No, she left the mask. Oh right. Time to wash off the blood. Um, where should I hide? I have like none of these. You can all find it. The first one who found the body. That one we know isn't correct, so. Big piece of evidence. Nope. Oh, the footprints. Yep. Away. Nope. We do have it though. There you go. Tie this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm? Alright. Oh. Oh, 
last stop. Last stop. Huh. I guess it is Yoko. Because she came out and immediately saw the body. I thought it was someone else. Me? No. There's gotta be a faster way to scroll. There probably is. But you're almost there. Here's everything Thanks. that happened in this case. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange, the killer. Yes. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter. Showed up uh, at the beach I'm house just doing the closing PM, arguments. Like said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. So it's literally summing up what you missed. <laughs> After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately- Oh, hit her uh, Pekko is shining justice, yeah. and she has emojis in her speech now. So yeah. Could frame her as that's important. Killer, right? I think that's probably the most important thing. Yeah. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the- <laughs> I know, right? She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon. The metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. What they dragged like Mahiru's body so that something. it blocked the door leading all to the room. I know, all three of our cats are like freaking out at the spot on the wall. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime right. was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. <laughs> but the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. But then this whole area would have been wet. If she was still dripping After water passed, when she went to the, the, the bathroom, I mean, that's she not the bathroom. That's the closet. No, I think she washed off in the bathroom. It just said she washed off before she hid. Yeah. She drip dried. But she didn't because she was still wet when she came to the cafe. 
She was still dripping wet. I mean, she made plans to see my hero, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. <laughs> Cats didn't like that. <laughs> ah, Cats. After Kyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Cliff, stop being a brat. <laughs> Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. <laughs> they couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shallow room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? Yeah. I see. And what of it? <laughs> She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What, what are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird, crazy bitch. There's no way. <laughs> Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it! I don't get it at all! Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on! In order I know, right? <laughs> to keep me alive, you all must That was actually Troy life. who returns to the apartment, though. <laughs> Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall... Who will combat the evils of this world? <laughs> now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry, and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed! <laughs> I understood who you were talking about, though. For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. A few sacrifices? <laughs> Monica was still sleeping. <laughs> Don't worry. He just wants to wait the for the good stuff. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. <laughs> I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that... Oh, I the forgot vote. there's like a little section of questions you have to do before already. you oh, no. So it might go on for a little bit longer. <laughs> I might just call it here. This is taking. I, I thought this was longer. Like I remember this being like because it has this second part. I guess you're right. Who cares? I just remember to get to the. In front of you and cast your vote. Stop growling. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! 
Well, at least we get to see who they vote for. Oh, I don't get a vote? No. That's oh, only in the third. third game. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because usually trials are two hours. Oh, like, that's like the Can average. Please have a little more time? <laughs> Yeah, and then she's gonna go off on her side thing. Can we continue our discussion? Is it gonna is take it a lot longer, over? like another half an hour? Probably. Like how long how much longer is it? Let me see if I can get an idea. I, I, yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is. There's still like strange. four more questions that have to get answered. So that'll probably take a while. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. <laughs> how do I save it? Uh, Can I save it? Square or triangle or. And then go down to system. There you go. Wait. Uh, I don't know if I saved it. <laughs> right? I don't know. Is that time right? Oh. I'm sure it's saved, right? Just save it again. Oh. How many times do I going to save it? Uh. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I am going to call it here because I am tired and yeah. I usually like to try to wrap up the uh, class trials all in one go, but this one's a bit longer. There's another one that's going to take like, God, like three, between three and four hours in this game. It is brutal. Um, that's not this one though. That's... Oh, yeah. the one you're talking about. That's coming up. Even with the walkthrough and all of that, it is brutal. <laughs> so, how do you turn all this off? All right. Thanks for joining. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> Night, everybody. Bye.